Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations a cubed minus b cubed is equal to 27 and a minus b is equal to 9. Our job is to find all possible values of a plus b. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation number 1 and this equation equation number 2. First we start from this equation number 1. Equation number 1 is uh, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to 27. By using this algebraic identity x cubed minus y cubed is equal to x minus y times x squared plus x times y plus y squared. This a cubed minus b cubed can be factorized as a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared is equal to 27. Now we replace this a minus b with this value of a minus b 9 from equation 2. So this will become 9 times a squared plus a times b plus b squared is equal to 27 and from here we divide both sides by we divide both sides by 9. So this 9 will be cancelled out with this 9 and uh, we are left with uh, a squared plus uh, a times b plus uh, b squared is equal to 27 divided by 9 will become 3. Now we combine these two terms a squared and b squared. So this will become a squared plus b squared plus this a times b is equal to 3. By using this algebraic identity x squared plus y squared is equal to x minus y whole squared plus 2xy. This a squared plus b squared can be written as a minus b whole squared plus 2ab plus this a times b is equal to 3. Now in this equation we replace this a minus b with this value of a minus b 9 from equation number 2. So this will become 9 squared plus 2ab plus 1ab will become 3 times ab is equal to 3. This 9 squared will become 81 plus 3ab is equal to 3. Move this 81 to the right hand side then this will become 3 times ab is equal to 3 minus 81 and 3 times ab is equal to 3 minus 81 will become negative 78 and from here we divide both sides by 3. At right hand side we divide by 3. So this 3 will be cancelled out with this 3 and we are left with a times b is equal to negative 78 divided by 3 will become negative 26. Now we recall the equation, we recall the equation, 
we recall this equation a squared plus b squared plus ab is equal to 3 and we have to find the value of a plus b we recall the equation a squared plus b squared plus a times b is equal to 3 and uh, we have to find the value of a plus b so by using this algebraic identity x squared plus y squared is equal to x plus y whole squared minus 2xy this a squared plus b squared can be written as a plus b whole squared minus 2ab plus this a times b is equal to 3 next a plus b whole squared negative 2ab plus 1ab will become negative a times b is equal to 3 now we replace this ab with this value of ab negative 26 so this will become a plus b whole squared minus value of ab is negative 26 is equal to 3 next a plus b whole squared negative times negative 26 will become positive 26 is equal to 3 move this 26 to the right hand side then this will become a plus b whole squared is equal to 3 minus 26 and this will become a plus b whole squared is equal to negative 23 now to remove this square we take square root of both sides like this a plus b whole squared and we take square root on the left hand side is equal to plus minus we take square root on the right hand side and this negative 23 will come here negative 23 this square will be cancelled out with the square root and we are left with a plus b is equal to plus or minus this root negative 23 can be written as root negative 1 times 23 next a plus b is equal to plus or minus this will become root negative 1 times root 23 next a plus b is equal to plus or minus this root negative 1 this root negative 1 is equal to i so this will become i times root 23 and from here we get two values of a plus b first is a plus b is equal to positive i times root 23 and the second is a plus b is equal to negative i times root 23 so we get two solutions for this equation 
both of these solutions are complex numbers the first solution is a plus b is equal to i times root 23 and the second is a plus b is equal to negative i times root 23 